So the Gays Against Groomers account is a pack of liars. And what's the most recent lie? <laughs> a transgender representative in Minnesota has introduced a bill that will remove the exclusion of pedophiles from the protected class of sexual orientation. This means it will be illegal to discriminate against child rapists. This is what we have been sounding the alarm on. There is a concerted effort to normalize the sexualization of children and to legalize pedophilia. This is just one more step toward that end goal. We need everyone to join in this fight before it's too late. The problem with that is that it's bullshit. And that nowhere in this did it explicitly include child rapists or pedophiles as a sexual orientation. It fucking didn't. Not once. <laughs> what it did was it struck a line from the record that implied that it was a sexual orientation, but that it wasn't going to be uh, endorsed or protected by the bill. So, they said that this isn't a sexual orientation, the people who wrote this bill, and instead of uh, celebrating this as a win uh, against pedophiles, instead, what we have is a, a group of people uh, spurred by this account and by many others, uh, saying, you know what, we're going to say that this is a step toward legalizing it. Now, what did um, the actual person behind the bill have to say? When questioned by Fox News, she said that it updates outdated language uh, that incorrectly ties pedophilia to a person's sexual orientation. Nothing in the bill changes or weakens any crimes against children or the state's ability to prosecute those who break the law, Fink said. Of course, pedophilia is not a sexual orientation. She fucking agrees with you! The language never should have been included in the statutory definition in the first place. Crimes against children are located in Minnesota's criminal statutes, and again, they remain unchanged. So this thing that, uh, that, that, that's under discussion, it was Section 2 of Minnesota Statutes 2022, Section 363A.03, Subdivision 44. And it's amended to read uh, sexual orientation. Uh, sexual orientation means having or being perceived as having an emotional, physical, or sexual attachment to another person without regard to the sex of that person, or having been perceived as having an orientation for such attachment. And the thing that it struck from the record was, or having or being perceived as having a self-image or identity not traditionally associated with one's biological maleness or femaleness. Sexual orientation does not include a physical or sexual attachment to children by an adult. So basically, this bill uh, struck from the record that sexual orientation does not include a physical or sexual attachment to children by an adult. But that's something that bills didn't need to include to begin with. Because the DSM-5 doesn't include that. Most psychologists and psychiatrists don't include that. The vast majority of the common person doesn't include that. They don't include um, wanting to fuck kids as a sexual orientation. It's not a thing. But instead of like actually looking what the law does, these people instead chose to incite a virtual lynch mob. And... On her profile, you can see uh, that somebody has, has tweeted out some of these screenshots saying that, you know, when do we say enough already and just start shooting these people via firing squad? Um, you, you know, your ticket to hell is a coming to you and a hollow point to give you the ride. Uh, time to go pedo hunting with my friends. And a guillotine saying, we are getting close, boys, live on pay-per-view. So... Nobody actually asked her, nobody read it, nobody did anything of the sort. And Alejandra Caraballo said gays against groomers lied about a proposed bill by openly trans Minnesota State Representative Leigh Fink. As a result, dozens of users are posting explicit death threats against her. The bill removes an explicit exception that conflates sexual orientation with pedophilia. And uh, she goes on to say... 
uh, in, in this thread, removing an exception that implies sexual orientation protections inherently includes pedophiles does not create civil rights protections for pedophiles. It's like saying removing an exception for oranges in a law protecting apples creates protections for oranges. They are intentionally misrepresenting the law to stoke a digital lynch mob against Representative Fink. And what Representative Fink had to say is, The past 36 hours in this job have been the most difficult so far. I've been confronted, called the worst things possible, threatened with murder. The volume has been greater than at any point. All for a lie told about a small bill that changes nothing about sexual orientation. So much cruelty. For what? For a one-minute floor debate on a two-line amendment that received a unanimous vote. Literally no controversy. Folks could have listened, but they didn't want to. They instead used the opportunity to amplify the hatred of trans people. There was never a controversy, but it didn't matter. The lie exploded into a whirlwind of hate intended to hurt me. And it worked. Congratulations. I'm left hurt and scared. People I thought were kind showed otherwise. I can't change that. We can only move forward onward. Now, here's the, here's the thing. I don't like politicians all of a sudden. I oppose Lay Fink, and I think Lay Fink needs to rethink some of her things here because ultimately, what we've got is a politician saying she supports trans rights, but later on down the line, you see that she's supporting gun control legislation. Well, newsflash, Lay. If you're going to say you support a minority and then make it harder for them to arm themselves, that's kind of incongruous, don't you think? Um, gun control has always been at the behest of those who want uh, to disarm a minority or a disenfranchised or otherwise small political class. So if you propose gun control, you're inadvertently or maybe actively trying to harm trans people. <laughs> you know? So I, I do hope you reconsider that because that's something that I will never agree with is gun control. And, you know, I'm not suddenly on board with a politician. But I thought I would give the other side of the story because it's valuable to look at it. Like, it's valuable to actually read the bill. It's valuable to read what the bill is for. And it's valuable to remember that, yes, you can still discriminate against pedophiles. This, this struck a line from the record that seemed to implicitly include them and then say, but no, they don't count, though. You didn't need to say that. You can still exclude them. They aren't protected all of a sudden. This bill was talking about which classes to protect. It wasn't talking about which classes, like, are excluded or whatever. It was talking, except that line, about what to protect. And it doesn't include now protections for pedophiles. Like, I'd be 100% on board. You, you, you know me if you've been following me for some time. You know if you've been subscribed for some time that I would be 100% on board. If that was the case, if later on down the line, there was an additional amendment that said you can be protected if you are an adult attracted to children, that would be something I would fucking for myself. But let's be super fucking clear that that's not what happened. And let me just take this moment to remind people that there are people in charge of like your alleged law enforcement that are much more of an active threat to kids. Because if you've heard of this case, if you've heard of Leif Fink um, and her like like non-controversial bill here, um, but you haven't heard of <laughs> the, uh, the officer honk, right? Um, a school cop, Abraham Martin Honk, uh, at Western Michigan University, then it's just proof that you are yet more embedded in the actual anti-trans stuff than you are in any sort of anti-pedophile activism. Uh, this is a Free Thought Project article where they say, for 10 years, the students at Western Michigan University thought Officer Abraham Martin Honk, 51, was there to protect them and keep them safe from criminals. All that has since changed, however, as Honk was exposed last year as a criminal from whom the students needed protecting. 
Honk was nabbed by fellow officers in an undercover sting for trying to pay a child to have sex with him in a gas station parking lot in the back of his pickup truck. Honk and several other child predators were arrested as part of a sting operation run by the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office placed ads online offering up sex trafficked children for money. Honk responded to the ads, apparently ready and willing to engage in child sex trafficking. Fortunately, however, there were no trafficked children, and the alleged victims were undercover deputies with the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office. According to the probable cause affidavit, the child predators thought they were meeting a 15-year-old girl for sex. As MLive reported at the time, a Sheriff's Office Detective Sergeant was posing as a 15-year-old girl online and arranged to meet Honk for sex. April 13th, the affidavit said. In text messages, Honk said multiple times he planned to have sex with the girl. He also asked to videotape the intercourse for later viewing, the affidavit said. Honk drove to a gas station near the hotel on 11th Street in Oshdemo Township, where the deputy posing as a girl was at, the affidavit said. Honk asked the girl to walk to him because he wanted to have sex in the back of his pickup, the affidavit said. While Honk waited in the back of his pickup truck for his victim to enter, the door opened and it was deputies instead. Honk had a handgun and $1,582 on him when deputies found him waiting in the back of his truck. After his arrest, Honk was arraigned on April 15th in Kalamazoo County District Court on one felony count of children, accosting for immoral purposes in one count of computers, internet, communicating with another to commit crime. In September, Honk pleaded guilty to a charge punishable by up to 20 years in prison, but instead received no jail. News Channel 3 reported that the sentencing, which included no additional jail time, was just and reasonable, according to the Kalamazoo County Judge Paul Bridenstein. Highlighting the problems with letting off child predators with no jail, Honk was arrested again for child sex crimes this week while on probation for child sex crimes. According to the FBI Detroit field office, Honk was nabbed for child porn charges while on probation for attempting to have sex with a child. This is who you ignore when you focus on trans people and you don't stop actual groomers. Because let me be absolutely fucking clear here, the Gays Against Groomers Against Groomers account doesn't have fucking shit about this pedo cop. And why? Because they're not actually here to stop pedophiles. They're not actually here to stop groomers. They're here to be transphobic bigots, and they don't give a fucking shit about actual grooming. Plain and goddamn simple. So, if you want to tell me, if you want to tell me that these people are on the right side of this issue, while they let so many actual groomers in actual positions of power go free, then you can go free. Fuck yourself! Because I am so sick of hearing about this from people who don't actually give a fucking shit about the issue. And from people who will back the blue, even while the blue gets away with this on such a fucking regular basis. So, without further ado, check out the other video on this subject, which I will link near the top of the description to this video, and you can watch yet more examples of criminal cops, like, <laughs> trying to fuck kids, or successfully doing so. Because, guess what? The real problem isn't trans people. The real problem is the fact that so many people are willing to look the other way as long as it's somebody in a group they like. And if that's you, eat shit, motherfucker, because you're every reason anybody needs to smash the fucking state.